Hey guys, we're going to be hiking in the Big Bend Ranch State Park of Texas. Now, if you, in case you haven't seen it, the previous video we did some, we let you look at the driving conditions. Now we're going to do a little hiking, let you see what it looks like on foot, and some of the sites you can see, at least where we were camped anyway. And just to give you an idea where it's coming from, you can see on the world Google map here, we're going to zoom in to the area that we were going to be hiking. And there you go. Big Bend Ranch State Park, Fresno Canyon here on the right. We're going to hike down here to the Crawford Smith Homestead. We'll be over here at Mexicano Falls. And we were camped right here at the Fresno Canyon Campground. Hope you enjoy. If you do, like, share, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments if there's something else you'd like to see. It's just a little map to show you where Big Bend Ranch State Park is compared to Big Bend National Park. It's just to the west and actually borders the National Park. There's a sign as we turn off the road heading into the park. And see a little bit of the drive in as we go in. Try to get away from Kenny too close and it's his brakes man. <laughs> As you can see, the road in is pretty rough. Uh, Four-wheel drive vehicles are recommended. Definitely high clearance. and Don't take anything you're afraid of getting scratches because some of this brush hangs over the road. And, and it will leave some of them Idaho racing straps on your car. The yeah, first interesting place we came to was uh, Mano Sariba, which loosely translated means hands above in English. It's just a cave on the side of the road here. Where Exploring uh, the Indians, I guess, or uh, Indian teenagers used to tag the rocks with their hands. No, anyway, petroglyphs, pictographs, whatever they want to call them, uh, here on the roof that you can see where ancient peoples were used to hang out here and camp in this cave. And when they're bored, they put their hands up on the on the roof. As you can see, it's a desert country. It's pretty dry, but there is water, and you'll, you'll see later that there is water in the desert. Down in these creek bottoms are dry washes, you'll, and there's some springs in the hills. Still feed the desert with some water. And here's where we're going to be camping, Fresno Canyon. You can see our campsite and the hikes we're going to be making down to Crawford Smith Homestead, Mexicano Falls, and to the Fresno Canyon Overlook. Then here's Fresno Can Canyon Campground, home sweet home for a couple of nights. And then the scenic desert of West Texas on the Mexico border, Big Bend Ranch State Park. Right next to Big Bend Ranch, Big Bend National Park.
we gonna head off on our first hike now. Headed down to the Crawford Smith Homestead. And I'm gonna zoom in. It's down there in the very down in that notch right there. You see those green trees going up the mountain? That's because there's some springs up the hill there. And that's why the Crawfords and the Smiths decided to homestead there. Because they had water coming, a spring fed stream that they could get water from. And as you can see, well, water is a uh, kind of a precious commodity out here. You get outside of this creek bottom line, there's, it's all desert and it's dry. Here's a sign at the Crawford Smith Homestead. I guess Crawford said it originally settled there in about 1915 and around 1930 or so the Smiths took over. There's the original ranch house, it's not much left. Built with mud, bricks, and stucco. There's a spring and there's, there's, that You can look up the, water down here. the valley there and see those green trees up on Probably the hillside. That's where the springs are coming out of the mountain and running down towards the homestead. But anyway, it's been used for the Crawfords and the Smiths, and then there's it was used after that by other ranchers and migrants to camp out and work cattle and sheep. At one time, pile a lot of rocks and make it fits on the way there. Man, we got beds and everything here. What the? Man, all the comforts of home. Stove, refrigerator. Liquor bottle. Why did it just even got a heater. <laughs> Thank you. 
and pantry. Mm. Now you gotta look down from the Fresno Canyon over to back down on our camp down at the bottom of the canyon. It's a long whip there and wind was whipping as you can hear. Well, you can see for miles and miles of Texas, as they say, from up there. And there's a zoom in still photo of the camp. And there's the hike, what it looks like hiking back down from the overlook. hike up to Mexicano Falls. The trail takes you up through this dry creek. But as you'll see as you walk along here, the water is just a few, you know, maybe a foot down. You'll we'll come across a place where the animals have been digging in the creek bottom. You can see there's big cottonwood trees growing here on the creek bottom. So there's water under the surface coming from springs up there, up at the head of this canyon. There's where some of the animals have been digging. They dig down just a little ways and they get water. You know, so with some bear tracks, uh, deer tracks, javelina, some blue bonnets growing. So there's water just below the surface of this dry creek bottom because there's a bunch of springs up coming off of Mexicano Falls. Well, at the time we were there, they were just seeping through the rocks because it's still pretty, it was past the rainy season. But as you can see, it's green in the bottom down here. But just out of the creek bottom, look at this, some great big cottonwood trees growing in this creek bottom. All green leaves on them, but look, 20, 30 feet either side, it's just bone dry desert again. And look, here we go. We even got water, running water, believe it or not, in the desert. That's water coming up from those, coming down the stream from those springs at Mexicano Falls, and it's seeps up in different places and actually runs across, runs down the creek bottom. So, believe it or not, as dry as that country looks, there is water in the desert if you know where to look. You notice here we you can see the moisture seeping through the walls of the canyon. Ferns growing under the ledge. Yeah, there's moisture. Wherever there's a little bit of moisture, things are growing in the desert. We're getting close to the headwater or the end of this canyon anyway, where Mexicano Falls. When it rains, there's a falls. And you can see the water seeping through, seeping. All the dark spots are damp. And then there's the head the head of the canyon. You can see ferns growing in the wall, there's water, all those cracks in the wall, there's water seeping through from springs. And I guess when it rains, that makes a pretty good waterfall coming off the top there. Well, that's the end of, there's Mexicano Falls, they call it. You can Mexicano see all the vines Falls. and the ferns and the trees all growing because they're getting water. And, you know, if you were just walking across the desert, you'd think there's not any water to be found anywhere. but. Believe it or not, if you know where the springs are, you can find the water in the desert. As these the animals showed us down there, they were digging it up.
Glenn got all of our hiking done for our little short three-day trip. So now we're going to head back home, driving back out. Of course, driving back out of Fresno Canyon is all mostly uphill. And that's where you really could use your four-wheel drive because some of it gets pretty steep and a lot of loose rocks. Look down as we're driving out. That's those green trees are right along the Rio Grande River. And we found some wildlife, some javelinas. So, javelinas. There's living creatures out there, believe it or not. It was just the last of the Mohicans. 